All right, welcome back to episode nine of Get to Know Your Mod Author. And this week we have somebody who you might know from the Free Hug Mod, a mod for love, and of course, Glorious Snaky Rock Mod CBBE UNP Sexy No Follower, which is my current favorite and the reason he's on here. Uh, he did some other shit like Percus Maximus and this Skyrim bullshit that just gets every time somebody releases a mod for fucking Skyrim, little bitches are like, is this compatible? This is T3NDO, everybody. Say hello. Hello, random people, and <laughs> thanks, Darren, for having me here. And you're a massive faggot for quoting the free hawk mod. I'm just going <laughs> to say that right away. Um, it's got the best yeah. picture. I totally want to talk to this guy. Ladies, please. You want to <laughs> see my vagina? <laughs> oh, wow, you're so speech crap. <laughs> That's going to be the intro picture, by the way. That's the picture for when we start. Like, it, it just sits there and fades in the whole time. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, it's a pretty good mod. High quality. You know? <laughs> Those hacks only kill the NPCs 15% of the time. <laughs> wait, wait, do they seriously? Yeah. I'm going to have to get this mod and like play through. Seriously, they kill the NPCs. Yeah, um, the hack is actually an animation taken from a kill move, I guess, from the vampire <laughs> kill move. And apparently, the kill is hard coded. So we, um, I used super shitty workarounds <laughs> so that like occasionally work <laughs> to keep them alive. What did like, you do? Like reanimate them after it murdered them? Uh, no, um, I set them essential before the hug and deactivate the essential setting after the hug. That kind of stuff. But the animation still kills them. Like, well, that's that's, that's actually just, an yeah, issue. It occasionally, it's inconsistent. But yeah, that's still an issue. very actually, I ran into that Download. issue on um on um. I was doing something where I applied a kill move, right? But I didn't want them to die. But it was a beheading kill move. And so the the accident was that half the time it would whop their head off and then just walk around and talk like normal and the head on the ground would give the animation. Like the head on the ground's lips would move and they would walk around. It was the best shit ever, but I couldn't think of an actual application where it would be good. <laughs> yeah, and was just about to say that sounds pretty fucking great and like the kind of stuff that actually deserves to be manufactured into a mod. <laughs> well, my Buster yeah. Sword for Fallout, the uh, the chill effect, apparently when you chill somebody, if you hit them, you have a chance of, like, decapitating them. Like, when this, when the, the like, I, I haven't read the script, so apparently when you hit people with my Buster Sword, you can actually whack their head off, and they'll just run around and keep fighting until their health goes away. Buster Sword sounds like anime, so... Yes, um, Final Fantasy. Well, yeah. Final Fantasy, yeah. Well, that's kind of anime but we already had the faggot thing, so I'm not going to <laughs> um, emphasize that again. Fuck you. The, uh... <laughs> All mean, right. I mean, it, it could be worse. Just imagine um, you'd be a, vim a woman instead of a faggot. So... <laughs> <I'm> just... <laughs> this, this video is... Uh... You see what I'm doing here? I'm just trying this. to trigger everything. We might as well... Let's go for the full trigger. So you're German. What are your thoughts on Hitler? <laughs> Hitler? Um... As the people listening to this right now don't know, I actually presented the list to Darren a few minutes before we started recording with a, um, it was a list of things Hitler did wrong. And maybe Darren, do you recall the physical properties of said list? Please show it. Just, oh wait, you can't show it. I'm not going to show the Correct. video. Uh, God damn it. The, I'm stupid. Like we're actually on. Yeah, you're, we're, yeah, you're stupid. We're going to let everybody uh, know how stupid I am. We're on a video. Show. We're, we're doing a video call, but I'm not going to show the video in the fucking. I'm retarded. Um, DX, I'm not retarded. retarded video. That's, that's pretty ableist. It's, I feel triggered right now. He showed a, he showed Stop a blank. Stop being such a shit lord. He showed a fucking blank list. Jesus Christ. <laughs> I'm like, this is like great <laughs> radio <laughs> humor, everybody. I'm going to make it physical. I'm going to throw gestures because I'm stupid. The, uh... Yep. But um, would you like to tell people why we're not showing video right now? Because you pussed it out. Yes, I pussed it you out. You pussed it out from video. I oh, my God. My I sunburned burn from like crap. hell. Oh Fuck you. I'm a little yeah. girl. Please, would you give me some lotion for my skin? <laughs> Whatever. Uh, please, please donate to my Patreon. I want lotion for my skin. I'm so, so burned. So Whatever. if anybody who ever thought T3NDO was a nice person. All right. This, we might have to actually redo that rule, you know, where I said anybody in a room with me comes off as the lesser douche. This might be the one exception in this series. <laughs> um, <laughs> so let's let's start with the basic crap. Like, I usually ask people, like, what, what got you started modding? Like, why did you start doing this crazy shit? And you got a lot of, like, I mean, you fucking got a shit ton of downloads on your shit. That's for sure. But, uh, shit ton of Oh, yeah. Actually, actually, you, did you notice your unique downloads on um, Perma, like, went down to shit when they redid their thing? 
I have no fucking idea. I, I visit <laughs> Nexus like once every two weeks or something. Because I have this huge pile of messages. I have like 1488 messages stocked up in my inbox. So the fucking it always it always reminds me that there's work to do. So I'm just going to lay off that and well, to get back to your actual question, where I started modding, why I started modding. Um I started mod uh, modding back with Titan Quest. Do you know that game? I think so. That was like a um, like a Diablo style one, top down, isometric. Exactly. Okay. It was like a sweet Diablo two with sweet graphics, nice physics and stuff, and supreme character cu customization. And yeah, there was this one guy, Munder Bunny, who essentially did a nice skill overhaul of all the skill trees. And I thought, oh my god, this guy is so fucking amazing. Um, back then, I was doing smaller mods like fixes and stuff, and partaking some big shit that never got released. But that's where I got my influence from. So essentially, when I started playing Skyrim, I'm the type of guy that sees stuff that needs to be fixed. And if I can't fix it, if I have the tools, I get obsessed over it and must fix it. So I, rem um, I remembered Wonder Bunny back then. I said to myself, yeah, let's just do the thing for Skyrim. And so I spontaneously decided to do that. So a thousand hours later, you, <laughs> you finally get it done. <laughs> I actually checked earlier, and um, my creation kit time says 2.2k right now. Oh, that's it? That's so, weak. What are, you, what are you doing there? Yeah, it's pretty weak, I know. Yeah, I, I've been stuck <laughs> in office recently. I took a few months break, so whatever. Now, now, a question I'm curious about. Do you plan at all to mod Fallout 4, like to do anything for it? That essentially depends on... And this is horrible, a horrible thing to say, um, whether my Patreon will do well. Because, <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm not in a position where I can really afford to um, invest tons of time in games and tons of money in games because I'm still a student. I'm writing my master thesis right now. And, yeah, I need to work in addition to writing my master thesis. So I said to people, if you guys want me to keep modding, want to keep modding Skyrim, Fallout, whatever else, um, allow me to replace working hours with modding hours. So okay. that's what I'm going for it. Cur curious too, what are you going to school for? Like, what do you, what are you getting your degree in? If you care to share. Com computer sciences. Go figure. <laughs> um, and that's something that, uh, like, like, that's something that a lot of people don't realize is the. I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm an exception to the rule. I'm definitely. Me and fading are actually. I'm gonna throw fading under the bus, but fading works freelance for people and and apparently makes a good living off it, etc. I I I make money sitting on my ass. That's what my job is basically. So I can sit around and fucking do this. Plus, my wife makes a lot more money than me. I'm a kept husband. Yay! I eat pussy. Yeah. The uh, <laughs> the um um. Oh, that's sexist. Mm -hmm. I'm triggered. Get the fuck off my stream. I'm taking it back. We had to do it for the women for hundreds of years, right? No, I'm just uh, she's she's a little lucky. The um, <laughs> but I mean that's what people don't realize the time input into a lot of this is insane, and it's um, I, I honestly I hope you do well with your Patreon as well. Hopefully, besides it doesn't try to steal the shit out of you. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's a possibility. By the way, did you donate to my Patreon? Fuck that. Pretty sure you didn't. You're a cheap fuck. Like you. Just the, just uh, ask your wife to contribute a bit. Show her my mods. I'm sure she liked all, them. All, all my money goes. She, she's terrible. She doesn't even know how to install mods right even with NFM. <laughs> the, um, she's like, I play Skyrim normally. Well, she played it on the um, console for the longest time because her old computer okay. couldn't handle it. So. Okay. so basically, you allow that console stuff to continue, and in exchange, she brings all the money to the house. Yeah. So much. that's how it goes. That's how it works. The, Sounds um, kind of fair, but you might have to ditch her at some point. Uh, no, I'm just really good at sex, so it just it pays for it. I'm just a man whore. Thanks. So, no. Um, now you'll have to fill the rest of the stream with your voice, <laughs> because I can get those fucking pictures out of my head. <laughs> Thanks. You wanted really the video call. That. Like, just imagine what a for everybody listening. Just imagine a Wookie having sex with Princess Leia. Which there's, it's pro. You know what? Fuck rule. It's probably out there. It's on. Like just Google it. You'll find pictures. I bet you money. It's I, I will not Google it, but I believe that there are pictures. <laughs> there's pictures of everything. I had a friend who was like loved Ewoks, and so I had to ruin her forever by just showing her Ewok porn on the internet. She's still mad at me to this day. It's like been five years. The <laughs> so. <laughs> I'm proud of you. That was a good deed. That was a good deed. <laughs> I'm a douche. I don't know what else to fucking ask on this shit. Um. <laughs> The uh, I, 
I don't know. What's the uh, what's the one thing you hate the most about modding? That's actually a good question. Like, because there's certain things that I hate. Like, is there anything um, that just annoys the fuck out of you that you have to do anyway? Well, there's a few things that piss me off. I mean, you made the joke about, oh no, everybody has Skyrim or Perma and says, oh my God, is it comfortable? And, 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 but what you don't realize is if you, if you have such a big mod out there, every fucking bug that appears in, set per, in the person's and the user's game oh, yeah. is your bug. So not, not going to lie, 75% of the bug reports I get are just bullshit. Actually, I'm looking at it right now. Perma has like 199 bug, re 30 pages of bug reports. Jesus Christ, you haven't been on here because there's like four pages of new issues. <laughs> <laughs> and I bet you money, some of these aren't even anything. It's not just some of these. Most of those are duplicates, and I guess the last yeah. 25 pages are just old versions because I never bothered to clean those old bugs out. And I, and I love the whatever. ones that are just complete shit that can't happen. Like, yeah, I think fading. I think <clears throat> fading touched on this too. It's like when people report a bug, and then you just are shaking your head because you're like, my mod does nothing to that, so it can't actually affect it. And then the person like defends it, like, no, your mod. When I uninstall it, this gets fixed. It's like, are you fucking yeah, retarded? I, I actually had a few guys that like reported how my mod apparently even after uninstalling everything after reinstalling the skyrim still kept everything broken like what the actual fuck <laughs> uninstalled all assets removed oh yeah it's, it's, it totally fucked my stuff up and what i used to do back when it wasn't as bad as it is now um it just <laughs> used to come up with complete bullshit answers like somebody <laughs> gives a bug report and, uh, and i just stream of consciousness some random shit together into a story <laughs> I, I think i have a few screenshots maybe i can send them to you later so you can present them on that'd YouTube. be awesome <laughs> <laughs> i've started um i've started responding to stupid questions with just the line you're in the biggest uh modding are you says you're on the biggest modding site in the known universe i'm dd productions 83 look me up i'm just using the doctor <laughs> who line for stupid <laughs> questions <laughs> and I'm just like, I give up. Like, I just, they ask the dumbest shit, and I'm just like, it, it, yeah. I don't know. The, um, I don't know. One of the, one of the trends that I've been noticing that I was kind of laughing at on the Nexus is, like, the, the simplest mods. Like, the simple mods that I make are the ones that keep going to the top, and then, like, the super complicated ones don't go anywhere. I don't know if the user base just wants plug-and-play because they're too dumb to work with shit, but, uh, I don't know. Or maybe I'm just making crap. I don't know. Crap. That's actually a pretty interesting observation because um, Skyrim and Perma are pretty much the antithesis to what everybody would want to publish if they were to publish a, um, a popular mod because they're huge, they're difficult to install, you need Java, you need SKSE and other stuff. So you basically cut down your potential user base a lot and for some reason they still made it. That's kind of funny. That's true. The um... No, I, I don't disagree with that. It's uh, I mean, they were. When did you release them anyway? Actually, looking. Holy shit! Holy shit! You did Skyri in February of oh twenty. Yeah, February twenty twelve. That's like two months after the fucking CK was released. And, I, um, I actually started before the CK was released with that other editor whose name I just can't recall. X, X edit. Uh, or was no, it? not X edits. There was another one who got forgotten by time. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even remember because nah, I didn't start till the CK. I don't remember right now. Um, anyway, I started another editor before the CK was released and that initial release date of Skyrim just covered a few perk trees, not everything. And another interesting phenomenon is Skyrim did not go into the hot files or anything instantly. It just had a few hundred, um, a few hundred downloads and endorsements for multiple months. And after those months, suddenly there was a burst of traffic and it just exploded suddenly i i think it's the um it's the dlc effect as well which they're talking about and they're prepping nexus for right now is that they you know when the when the dlc hits you tend to get more people coming back and playing which means you end up with more people coming back and hitting the site and checking out mods and and i i think it was before dlc i'm pretty sure it was before dlc Cool. I have no idea when the DLC came out for Skyrim. I was too busy modding. I didn't get the DLC for Skyrim until early 2015. That's when I actually bought the DLC for the damn game. Like, I was too lazy. 
I don't yeah. remember. Even. <laughs> I, I think um, I'm not sure. I think people actually gifted me both DLCs, but no idea really. No idea really. And I didn't finish either. That's pretty bad. Um, <laughs> I never. I, I didn't even finish all the major quest lines in Skyrim. I I blitzed the. Uh, I, that's actually like what pissed me off about Skyrim is I like blitzed the main quest and it's like nothing. Like you just. You finish it all in a couple of hours, and then it's like, run around and do all this shit, and then... I don't know, my my time played to time modding is insanely odd, like, it's just... Same. Like, um, ugh, give me just, give me your ratio, give me your ratio, let's compare. God, I don't even know, I played fucking... Well, let's, let's do Fallout, for example. I played Fallout for two and a half weeks, just random playing through as I was playing it, and I've been modding it for four months. So, yeah, my, my time ratio with Fallout right now is probably way worse than it was with Skyrim initially, but I think Skyrim was at 3,200 hours of um, creation kit use and uh, maybe about 400 hours of gameplay, but that's including the testing. <clears throat> Excuse me. Yeah, um, for me it's like 200 hours of playing versus 2.2k of modding. Yeah, whatever. Yeah. It's, it's, it's just... It's honestly way way more fun to create mods than play the game because the game's just not that good, I gotta admit. It's a uh, I started a playthrough with um and that's the problem. I like I started a stream playthrough and I'm like, I'm gonna play through on Fallout, and then of course I went to play Tomb Raider, but as I'm playing through on the you know the Fallout game, there's just shit that I wanna mod. Like I'm running through and I'm like, oh, I wanna mod this, I wanna create something. So now I'm just like, how do you how do you fucking I, I don't know, it's um I don't know. There's because you're right, it's so much more fun to create. But then there's games like like, I don't have an issue with Tomb Raider or... I mean, maybe it's because we can't mod them. Like Yeah, it's, it's a lot easier if you're not given the option to yeah. create content for stuff. I think that so might be a big one. It. Well, yeah. And I think Bethesda kind of creates some things crappily <laughs> compared to other games. <laughs> and it needs to be fixed. <laughs> like, I don't know. The, um... I don't know. I think it's, a. Uh, yeah. I think it gives us an outlet for those of us who want to really create too, because it's, I don't know. I'm like I, 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 I'm not that old, but I'm getting older, and like I'm not finding as much yeah, joy. Yeah, I'm, seeing, I'm, seeing. I'm not finding as much joy in playing the games as much as I am in like creating shit for them. Like I think I, I have way or more. Or maybe fun. games have just gone to shit. I, yeah, that's a big one too. Like I, I mean, yeah, because Witcher I picked up and never set down. I mean, one of the things we I've harped on in almost every video because most people who play it love it. The um, I I couldn't think of a bad thing about that game and played the shit out of it nonstop. And then other games, I mean, Tomb Raider is a great game, but I've been playing it. I've been picking it up and setting it down, picking it up and setting it down. And I did the same thing with XCOM, even though XCOM is a pretty decent game. And Far Cry Primal is just a pile of shit. The uh, it's dude, it's immersive. Did you, just, did you buy it? Did you actually yes, buy Far I Cry Primal? Bought it. Even my friends wow. were telling me while I was streaming, they're like, you have like two hours to refund it on Steam. I was like, ah, keep giving it a shot. <laughs> it was well, like, that's your own fault, really. Dude, dude, it's I immersive mean... It's immersive reading simulator because they made up their own language. So you have to read fucking everything. Like, I'm like, who thought, what jackass at fucking, who the fuck makes Far Cry? I forgot, is it Ubisoft? I don't remember. The, uh, what jackass there was like, hey guys, I just watched Apocalyptica or Apocalyptica. What the fuck was the Mel Gibson movie? Now my mind is just gone. There was that fucking Mel Gibson movie where they made up the language or used, like, the Inca language. So they had to do subtitles for, like, every I have no show. fucking idea because I don't watch movies. <laughs> it was, like, two hours of reading <laughs> but, but, subtitles. But to answer your question, um, what kind of idiot does that? Probably the same kind of person that actually buys Far Cry Primal. <laughs> <laughs> hey, at least I didn't pre-purchase it. That would have been uh, crazy. I bought it going in, like, I saw other people, I was like, I'll give it a shot, I don't know, but that was, that was a terrible mistake. I hope, I hope it gets modded, like, I want to see people, like, put machine guns in there and shit, I just want to run around killing, like, cavemen with machine guns, that'd be fun, I don't know. The... Yeah, genocide is always fun, so, um, do you want to talk about Hitler again, maybe? I, oh, I say, we could, uh, are you gonna join, are you gonna join me and some guy on the gay Hitler Preston Garvey uh, quest mod? If you donate enough money to my Patreon, I'm just going to do it alone, even before you explain to me what it is all about. Oh, don't fuck that. Gonna... But me and some guy made a pact. If we ever made, like, half a million with paid modding, we would make a quest. Like, if we made it together, like, combined, like, if they, whatever, we would make a quest that involved synth gay Hitler 
and uh, he would come and romance Preston Garvey to help him with a clothing line in his fat art show. And then after that, it would start to degrade really quickly, and you'd start to artistically cleanse the wasteland. Like, it wouldn't be another <laughs> settlement needs your help. It'd be another settlement needs cleansing. And you would have to go there and cleanse it. Like, it, it, got, it, it got dark pretty quick. The uh... Yeah, so, sounds pretty fucking good, actually. <laughs> I, yeah, you, you would not need to pay me half a million to do that. Got to be honest with you. <laughs> no, we were just talking, like, joint. Then we would throw. Actually, that, that that raises another question. What's your thoughts on uh, Captain Captain Forever Free Banner on all your your mods? There, no. What's your thoughts on paid modding? Like, what do you what do you think if they're gonna do with it? My thoughts are they're gonna do it, like personally. But I don't. That's more of a hope, probably. Well, um, I don't think there's anything intrinsically wrong with asking to get paid for your work. But there are a few problems that can probably arise, like theft, which will become a thing if you can make money with it. You'll also have tons of small shit mods that just try to uh, get a quick buck for stuff. Um, you'll also get probably a large amount of decent mods, I can imagine, people actually trying to work seriously on that stuff. But I don't know, um, since you referenced the Forever Free banner, <laughs> I, right now, I do not want to really deal with that kind of stuff. Like, I know I have that Patreon going, but Patreon is voluntarily, and I feel like if I had to actually offer proper support for my mods, I'd go insane within a week or something. <laughs> that is actually kind yeah. of that yeah. Is I did a that when I had take. I did that when I had a few hundred users, and it worked well because they were all dedicated and providing useful input. But right now, that's just not possible. And also. I do think that the 25% cut from modders that Bethesda tried to pull um, in Skyrim is not really a fair deal. Did, did you hear that Dota, they're, I think they proposed, I don't think they're doing it yet, but something about Dota 2 modding and it's like a 70-30 cut, 70 in favor of the um, the creators. Like Steam. That actually sounds fair, I guess. Yeah, that seems, fair. yeah Steam's handling all the, I mean, I, mean, I think a 50-50, like in, in the situation we had had before, I think a 50-50 would have been fair because... The, the general cut for a processor, like Steam, 30% was actually really fair. 30% for the people handling the money, handling the liability, handling yeah, the sales. handling the servers. Yeah, and, and then Bethesda wanted their 45%, which if, if Bethesda takes their, you know, 50% or whatever from, if, if they do it through their own website, I think is more logical to see. if they, But yeah, their, their cut was a little bit on the uh, jackass <laughs> side. Yeah, I mean, you could say that the faster is offering the creation kit and the general platform and its user base, which might be a good argument in favor of getting such a big cut. But on the other hand, you got to factor in that mod creators already generate money for Bethesda because the prospect of having mods already sells copies. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's the only reason I, I mean, I, I probably would have bought the game anyway, but it's it's a big play factoring into it. At least I mean, well, I, mean, I create, sure. but. Do you genuinely think Skyrim is a great game without no, mods? No, Skyrim's a pile of shit. It's uh, well, yes. Yeah. See, then you would have made the same <laughs> mistake as with Far Cry Primal. Great job. <laughs> That's so true. <laughs> Fuck it. Hey, hey! If, far, if modding ever comes to Far Cry Primal, you'll change that tune. I mean, you know, I mean, riding mammoths and then yeah, like, because motorcycles. Ubisoft and those Far Cry guys are so keen on letting you mod yeah. their stuff because it. They're totally not slinging out a new copy of the game every year. I know, trying right? To, for full I, price. I didn't realize that they used the same map. Like, it's the same top, 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 yeah, topography I've, I've, I've as I've Far I've read an article on that that was so cheap. That was God, so it's fucking just like, cheap. <laughs> it's worse than Bethesda, like, using the same engine every goddamn time they put out a game. At yeah. least they modify it a little bit. Like, fucking Ubisoft's just like, let's do the same engine. <laughs> just give them spears and shit, guys. Spears, ooga booga, that's gonna be awesome. <laughs> we, we put a lot of effort into creating this language. It's like we got linguists in here, and of course, it's the shittiest part about our game that you have to read everything. So you're like reading shit as you're getting murdered. Like, what the fuck? <laughs> you can't kill any of the people who work with you either. No, that's the other thing. They didn't fucking um. Apparently, somebody told me like anybody who doesn't attack you is one of your uh one of your people, right? Well, I didn't know this. So I'm hiding up in trees and, like, ambush killing fucking people who are apparently on my team. I was like, there's yeah. no indication. There's just... That I'm actually like, I've caught these like guys. something you do in real life. Yeah. I'm, I'm not yeah. saying that it, it reflects <laughs> on you in any way, but it probably does. 
<laughs> no, I'm just self-destructive. I don't want to kill everybody that works with me. The uh... yeah, you're just trying to pull them down with you. <laughs> oh, and on that fun note, on the fun note, there's something I noticed too. The um, the uh, hold on, I'm gonna click it while we're here. Let's see. The uh, we are at eleven thousand and eighty-one mods for Fallout, right? This is like without the creation kit. The, the one of the things you said was like you, you'll get a lot of shitty like people releasing mods for pay, right? What the fuck is yeah. happening now? They're just releasing shit. Like, there's if you took all the shit mods out, like I'm sorry, nine thousand of you at minimum are shitty mods on fucking Fallout. Nexus. Well, I said that um, paid modding would probably release in a great surge of shit mods. I did not say that without petting you would not have paid modding. You would not have a large mass of shit mods, <laughs> which you definitely have. So enjoy. <laughs> it's like the forty third better jet mod. This guy's slapping Star Wars logos on everything he can. I mean, I guess that one. It's just... one of the one of the better ones. <laughs> What's the Star Wars logos? <laughs> Go track that mod and post a comment tracking until bugs are fixed or something. <laughs> 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 I should just go through and grab every texture in the game and just put a Star Trek logo on it. Just call it my Trek Fallout mod. That's what we need. We need phasers. We need like to dis- Oh my god, that'd be an awesome weapon. Shh, don't tell anybody. I'm gonna make a phaser and just disintegrate people. The uh, or set phasers to stun, just stun them. Um, Jesus Christ, I don't know what else to ask. I'm too fucking nice. like we gotta, gotta get up. It's, it's a, uh, it's like <laughs> night for him, and I woke up early and like. <laughs> The, uh, anything you want to talk about, like, what was that? Opinion on Anita Sarkeesian. (laughs) I wish I made one-tenth the money she does per videos. Holy crap. Yeah, you, uh, you just need a vagina. So, That that um, could be arranged. I'm not that far from South America. I I mean, mean, we could team up with something. I mean, you could grab yourself a vagina, get shaved and shit, and I I oppress you. You take a few screenshots of it, and... I've I've already got the tits. Like, all I need is... I just need the vagina. Oh, yeah. Like I've got the man boobs. I'm already half there. The uh, <laughs> fucking yes. Well, it's because I read a uh, I read an article a long time ago. It was like the the uh, the the guaranteed ways to be able to fondle boobs is like step one, gain 300 pounds. Step two, remove shirt. Step three, fondle away. Well, it's technically not wrong, I guess. So. Yeah, it worked just fine. I mean, <laughs> I mean, anything... it does. <clears throat> are are you on a trip to replace your wife? Probably. I mean. <laughs> no, I'll just be lesbian if I switch. Okay, yeah, but the well, you have to be. If I'm gonna, if I'm gonna be, if I'm, if I'm, if I'm gonna get a vagina, I might as well be lesbian because then I get a trifecta. You know, I'll be a woman, I'll be oppressed, and I'll be a lesbian. So I'll be Hell double oppressed. Yeah, and yeah. you're obviously harassed online. Yeah, there's I'll... tons of harassment going on right now. I I'll mean, go, in I'll fact, go... you have been harassed multiple times within this video. <laughs> <laughs> I'll, I'll switch to blackface, then I'll be black, and I'll handicap myself. I'll be a black, handicapped, lesbian, <laughs> internet personality who gets harassed. <laughs> and just keep talking like you do, and you'll also get the ableist bonus. It's true. The... <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm a horrible person. I deserve to burn in hell, and six million just weren't enough, as I prove. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the, all your, all your, everybody starts hating you on your mod pages. Actually... They'll, they'll send you messages, but from the sounds of it, your inbox is probably filled up. <laughs> yeah, and just at some point, I just decided to not answer anymore, <laughs> and not delete all messages anymore because I'm at 500 right now, and it's yeah, they can't send you more shit. I just keep I just keep deleting them nonstop. Like I'm at 16% of 500, whatever that is. Jesus, it's still going high. But like I just keep deleting them. If it's like a stupid message, I'm just like delete, delete. Excuse me. Because it tells the people you deleted the message to. So that should be an answer to their question. <laughs> so so what do you think of the average user? <laughs> the uh I don't know, that's just a good question. What do you think of the average user? That's um a pretty difficult question to answer. I mean you're obviously waiting for some sort of oh, the ever average user's an idiot and can't do shit and entitled and whatever. Well see I think but, the average vocal user actually falls under that. I think the average yeah, user is actually the average user's probably alright. The average user just downloads and enjoys and reads and you never heard of them you never hear from them, so they're probably alright, I guess. I mean I have a lot more unique downloads than I have stupid comments in my inbox, which are just <laughs> take us proof that well, yeah, my inbox probably doesn't work, but... <laughs> no. It's just proof that you filled your <laughs> inbox up. <laughs> yeah, I have a lot more unique downloads than false bug reports, I guess. 
So I'll take that as an indicator that the average mod user does actually try to fix things, try to get things installed. Yeah, I sweet. Mean- I've been having that, it, like, with my the perk overhaul that I did, crap. It's, um, you're right, it's been only a few hundred people, oh. and the ones that are Wasteland commenting... Wasteland Feminazi. Huh? Wasteland Feminazi, that kind of thing. <laughs> I don't think anybody's noticed yet. The, uh, nobody's Whoa. commented on the I'm fact sorry. that... Nobody's noticed that Toughness Level 2 is actually named Rihanna. And the title, the title is, the title is, you can take a punch, you can do whatever, like, to plus 10 toughness. <laughs> I was like, I don't know if anybody's noticed that shit yet. <laughs> like the um, the uh, yeah, it, the oh, the fucking male ones were worse for um, for uh, Lady Killer. I changed it to like I think it was literally like Chris Brown, like uh, Jack Brown, <laughs> like it was all Browns. Like I was like, I just all I did was Google famous wife beaters, and the top three were all three black guys whose names were something Brown. I was like, um, black people of color, please. I'm I'm triggered as fuck right now. Everybody's because I'm half like, white and you're shit. a racist totally now. White. And be like, no, I'm not a racist. The black people are just really bad at hiding when they beat their wife. The <laughs> white people are really good at hiding it. Like, they need to take some lessons because I'm an equal opportunity wife beater. I'm going to get in trouble now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I approve um, of equal rights for women and equal lefts. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> this is people are gonna be like this is the worst video ever. <laughs> yeah. The worst. It's, it's the fucking best. Not gonna lie. I mean, so you, you said that you made a video with some guy, and I watched some of his YouTube videos, um, his let's plays. He's fucking hilarious. I gotta watch that. He is. He's that's a... probably pretty. That's probably pretty good. He he took the Hitler question and literally turned it into that entire quest line. He didn't even know it was coming, and he just like. Like, literally three minutes after I asked the question, he has laid out the entire groundwork for a fucking gay Hitler synth quest line. I'm like, what the fuck? I was like, yeah, let's do it. Fuck it. Let's just, uh, I mean, if we, awesome. if we, if we get the money, I mean, you might as well put it in, do the production value. You can get people who sound like, you know, you can just revoice uh, Preston Garvey so you can have your whole, like, you gotta kill him. I, I want to watch Hitler. Um, um, as you might or might not know, I'm actually Austrian and I'm living in Germany and I have an interest in art, so I'm the perfect Hitler. <laughs> Have you uh, have you ever gassed anybody recently? I'm not going to discuss that in public, but I might be willing to discuss that once your record button is off. <laughs> record button will never stop now, guys. We'll catch him on this. The, uh... No. <laughs> but six million were not enough. <laughs> <laughs> and I cannot fix what was done wrong if you just keep observing me. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Oh god, I don't know anything you want to talk about because I'm 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 out of it. Is I I've been bad the last couple of interviews. I've been like waking up late and then I'm like trying to fix shit and then I'm like going into the interview like a moron. So the uh... actually I, I do have a few interesting topics. I actually asked on my Facebook cut of Tendo page for stupid shit I should mention once your video is running. So I'm just <laughs> go for it. <laughs> yeah, I'm serious. I'm I try to contribute just. Be thankful. I'm trying to contribute and make your video better. Um, oh, that one's good. Discuss foreskins. Make a list of pros and cons. End it with explaining how hilarious it is when it is too big and almost looks like a tent. Do you have any input on that? I wouldn't know. Like, because I, I mean, clearly, American just snip when you're a kid. You have no choice in the matter. So. Uh... So you're Jewish. Yeah, basically. The. Uh, yeah, like you're Jewish. Everybody I mean, you. oh shit, do you, don't hurt me. You realize the position <laughs> right now. Yeah. I don't know. So guys, this might be the last episode of <laughs> Get I, to Know Your Mod Author. I, I always hate, there, I always, there, there <laughs> missing. I always hate like the pros and cons of horse skin. They're like, it keeps you cleaner and healthier. I'm like, what, you can't bathe? Like, do you not know how to wash yourself? Like, do you actually need this taking care of you, you know, when you're fucking one month old? Like, I don't know. This might be an awkward conversation for people listening, more than the Jewish part and the Hitler part. <laughs> but what when it is too big and almost looks like a tent? Can you see no possible applications of that? I can't say that I've actually like actually looked at that and paid attention because that's just not in my forte to, you know, go online and look at foreskins of guys looking like tents. So I mean if that's if that's your thing, it's just you can Well, I just would have thought <laughs> of you a bit differently. But apparently you're not that kind of person. I'm sorry. Um, 
how the hell do you have like fifty thousand downloads on your guide to Skyrim redone? Jesus. Because, because it's a fucking great guide. Did you read it? <laughs> Are you implying that it's not worth downloading or something? It's a PDF. Stupid though. piece of shit trying to talk down on my mods here. I actually, I'm I actually got rid of. Mods. I fucking, yeah? I don't. I don't have my fucking P. Like I don't have my. I gotta reinstall Adobe. I tried to open a PDF the other day and realized I'd reinstalled my computer and never reinstalled like Adobe shit. And then I was like, oh, I need to reinstall that shit. And then six months later, I still haven't done it. Yeah. Oh, well, I'm not surprised that people that buy um, Far Cry <laughs> games also fail to open PDF files. But I'm, I'm protecting well, my computer. It's just, it's just all making sense. So what? What else you got? What else you got? Let's go. Let's see what awkward Hit. things. Oh, by the way, everybody, I'll put. No. Hold mm -hmm. on. I'll, I'll put. A, I'll put up a link. He's got a the Cult of T3NDO page, and then I'll put a link to his Patreon too. Go support yeah, him sweet. so he can be a starving send college your, student. Send me all your fucking monies. <laughs> <laughs> That's not the way you get it from them. <laughs> no, nope, but seriously, I mean, there are tons of nice things you can do if you have children to feed and say, oh my God, I can't feed them. I can't send money to your Patreon. Just ditch one of them or sell them to the black market. There are tons of good things you can do. Or just, just stop eating for fuck's no, sake. No, what kind actually, of greedy bastard are you? Actually, yeah? you get a really cheap computer and you get World of Warcraft and you make the little three or four year old farm gold and then you sell it to people. That's actually possible. I um, met some physics student who just did that and told me how he financed his computer doing that kind of shit. I was pretty jealous. It's flipping it nuts. a smart idea. Like, the shit people will pay for online is just retarded. Yes, it's of course. So if you buy that kind of retarded shit, you might as well just send your money to my Patreon instead. There you go. Yeah, sweet. L look at some of the so Steam Greenlight games. I mean, people will throw money at anything. <laughs> 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 so um parents should have the legal right not to feed their children yes or no i mean if they're they, stupid they or don't anything. have that legal right nope i need to take something up with my parents now the uh yeah i Stop thought they lying. had that legal right <laughs> you're a lying piece of shit i, I know how you look you, you tell about you tell us about your man boobs you you're a well fat guy oh i'm well fat you're now well fat. I had a pair. Oh man, my mother was fucking crazy. Like I've been shot at before with a twenty-two. Like that's how awesome my mother is. Really? I know she didn't intend to hit me, but uh, she's are, a crack shot. Are you serious right no, I'm serious. She was just trying to like she was a uh, yeah. She's crazy. The uh, no, she's like legitimately crazy. But <laughs> yeah, but I but she's a crack shot. So I know she didn't want to hit me. She just wanted to scare the shit out of me. I was an asshole it, as a kid. Go figure. What? Did it work? Uh, scaring the shit out of you? <laughs> no, I'm still an asshole. <laughs> It doesn't scare the shit out of you when you know she intentionally missed. Like, this is a woman who like was she like she. Uh, oh, we we, we lived know. on it. That sounds pretty fucked up. Not gonna lie. <laughs> <laughs> is that how education works overseas? Sweet, that's no, not the education system we got there. That's how education works with crazy parents. <laughs> yeah. It was like slave labor. It's like I grew up on a farm. It's like I thought we had to all be slaves at Sweet. the age of six. Like, slave labor is not a nice topic to talk about, actually. <laughs> <laughs> we have more history of it than you guys. The... <laughs> so, how many cotton farms do you own? Uh, I wish I owned some, at least five or six. It'd be nice. But, uh, well, I guess cotton farms would not work all that well with Donald Trump becoming president and shit, so we cannot just grab cheap Mexicans anymore. <laughs> we gotta walk in and slave somebody else. The, uh... But no, he's gonna deport them and let them all back in. The, uh... Well, my viewpoints on this one is I want Trump elected. Like, I want wh whoever, whatever the craziest motherfucker is that's running, that's who I want elected. Like, I want batshit crazy presidents because, well, A, that's. I just... understand your reasoning. I understand your reasoning, and for some odd reason, I just completely agree with you on that topic. <laughs> I mean, ton of, Donald Trump is basically a living meme right now. It's just fucking <laughs> hilarious. <laughs> it's like, it's, it's, it's more of like. Like, I mean, as far as policy decisions and everything, or people who don't, like, like actual for some of his policy, I'm for as well. But it's like, the crazier the person is in presidency, the less that government will get done because Congress will block them. And it's, it's going to just neutralize itself. But it's also a fun game of how many assassination attempts can happen in a four-year period. Like, that's going to be a fun, fun game. Uh... But on the other hand, I mean, what kind of choice do you have? You have... That Hillary Clinton, who's just some sort of evil lizard people, whatever person. <laughs> I mean, Bernie she's... Sanders. 
Bernie Sanders will just take your money and um, oh, pay for some gender studies degree for entitled children slash college students. Great. Oh, awesome. Wonderful. I'd God, rather build a wall. Gotta be honest. I know. I fucking hate, like, I, I don't understand people who are like, he's going to pay for all of our colleges. I'm like, where's the money coming from? We're a bankrupt free. fucking it's country. It's free. It's not free. I was like, why do you think businesses are taking their business overseas? Because we're taking all their money and giving it to your stupid lazy ass who doesn't want to work for your college education. Like, fuck you. <laughs> like, why do you think they're running away? Like, I was, I was talking with my, 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 uh, my in-laws are going to end up giving their business to my wife. And um, we've already been discussing it. Like, we're, we're in California. Like, okay, California is literally like, pick a socialist country, that's our tax rate, right? So, <laughs> but it doesn't work, like, so, uh, I've had discussions with people on this one where it's like, well, I'm socialist here or whatever, and it works, like, uh, like Finland, I'll throw Ellie under the bus, like, their country is, is toward the socialist end of the spectrum, and it works because they're a population of 3.8 million people. They have 10% of the population of just California. Like, the more people you throw into the mix, the more issues you have when you get into, like, the socialism, communism shit. And, like, we're already discussing moving our business from here to Nevada because it, you just lose 15% of your taxes just by moving over the border of the state. And it's, like, geez, if you told me, if you told me that if we moved to, like, fucking China with our business, we'd make 50% more money, China. I'd, I'd be like, see you guys, China, I'm in. China. <laughs> <laughs> I recently watched a, um, a three-minute Donald Trump video <laughs> just repeatedly saying China. <laughs> <laughs> but was Where each one of them different? Was hmm? it every China a different time he said China? Because I think that's I possible. Think it, I think it was, but I'm not completely sure because there were a lot of Chinas in the video. <laughs> so. But not yeah, um, communism is great. It just has never been tried. Um, history doesn't exist or whatever. <laughs> just wait for, <laughs> wait for, like, I can't wait. Like, we've got a whole bunch of hilarity coming up with the, um, because with Kashyyyk staying in the race and them not bailing out, there's a chance that there's going to be, like, a contested convention, like, Trump won't yeah. win the over. And then, so that's going to be, like, riots at the Republican National Convention. Like, that shit's going <laughs> to be funny. Like, what if they decide not to nominate Trump? Then it gets even funnier. Like... And even if they do nominate him, what do we end up having? Debates between Trump and Hillary. Will that not be the funniest shit ever? Like, <laughs> she can never play the sexist card because she bashed everybody her husband fucked in office. And, like, Trump has no issues <laughs> calling her on it. He's like, you fucking de decimated women. You're a bitch. Like, he's just straight oh, up. Just fucking glorious, really. <laughs> it would be, like, the best <laughs> debates. Like, I was actually praying that Sanders, like, doesn't get, like, in there. Because a, a Bernie Sanders-Trump debate probably wouldn't be as much fun. Like, <laughs> Hillary-Trump is just going to be hilarious. And I hope they pick whack jobs for, like, their vice presidents, too. Like, but you know Hillary's going to pick Sanders. Like, what, what choice does she have? Like, who's she going to pick for fucking vice president? Who's Trump going to pick? Like, I want to see uh, 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 John Cena. Like, that's... <laughs> <laughs> I'm totally with you on that. I'm totally with you on that. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> In the vice president debate, the uh, vice president on the Republican side just put the other person into a headlock and choked him out. <laughs> Best but, debates uh, ever. Uh, I mean, I I don't have perfect overview over politics, but are there any other reasons to vote for Hillary other than um, vagina and that, Bill Clinton? That's it. It's literally like like it's uh it's the same ones that like why are you voting for Obama? And then I literally have one of my one of my best friends. She's fucking black. I'm gonna throw. If she ever watches this, she's gonna be like, "Fuck you, Darren." But um, she uh, so, so you mentioned black. Ben Carson, for fuck's sake. He's, he's fucking hilarious as well. <laughs> but she had told me, like, right before Obama, I was like, why are you voting for Obama? And she's like, well, I just really like this and this. And I'm like, you didn't name any policies. Why are you voting for him? She's like, well, he's black. And I'm like, you're the biggest racist I know. <laughs> like, if that's your only reason, like, I, I can't disagree if you're voting on somebody for policy. Like, well, that's your opinion. If you're voting on him because vagina, color of their skin, that makes you a racist or a sexist? I would still probably vote for Ben Carson because he's a wise man. Um, did you follow what you said about pyramids? No, I didn't, Woody. I might have missed <laughs> yeah. that. Um, he, um, 
he put up the hypothesis that there were in fact grain storage or some weird shit. You know, no, no, the, um, they totally don't document what they were built for inside the pyramids. No, they were grain storage or some shit and some totally weird ass stuff. See, he, he blows my you mind on some of the shit that. he talked and, about because as far as like the people on the stage, he's like literally the smartest in book smarts and he said some of the dumbest crap. Like, yeah, I think, I think it's fucking hilarious. <laughs> this contrast just totally blows me off every fucking time, but I don't think he has a chance. He's like, no, he's 2%. gone already. Like he, yeah, he's, he's already gone. dropped out. I, I think he might. Too no, bad. he's not going to be running mate. I think Trump's actually going to pick a smart pick. Like I don't actually think Trump's stupid. That, a lot of people think, are like, hmm? he's not stupid. But do you think um, the vice president next to Trump actually matters? Because if Trump's become Trump becomes president, it's going to be about Trump. I think it might because a lot of people put too much faith in our president. Like, well, and Obama hasn't helped that with signing every executive order into the face of the planet because he can't get anything done. He's been like the most ineffective president, but he just keeps signing executive orders and doing illegal shit that it, nobody's calling him on. And um, like, our president is actually really weak. Our pre the president of the U.S. is only extremely strong as far as a voice goes, and if war happens, if any type of war happens. Other than that, it's Congress and, you know, the House that can boycott him, and the vice president runs the Congress. So the vice president, in some ways, is actually more powerful than the president because he can set the terms for Congress. But do you think that Trump, um, with his type of personality, would not just control his vice president? Do you think he would, he would um, choose a strong person to actually do shit i honestly i honestly think he's not stupid i, I don't think he's stupid and i think he of will course actually, he's not i think he'll actually choose a strong politician to run with because that would be the smartest move is to choose somebody because yeah <laughs> the threat of assassination might be really high so the vice president <laughs> might become the president <laughs> Yeah. but i i honestly i i don't know like i was i was telling my friends uh early this year i was like watch him watch him he's going crazy right now right like he's doing all the crazy shit I was like, once he starts winning and knocking off opponents, and it's more likely that he's going to be the candidate, watch him start to go moderate. Because all he's doing is playing the political game. He's playing the media, he's playing everybody, which, I was like, he's not an idiot. Like, I just, that's why I find this hilarious. He's literally playing the game that has been set up for the past 40, 50 years, and winning and destroying everybody while spending the least amount of money. And I said, like, watch him start to go more moderate. Well, in the last couple of de last debate, and then the last the last couple of weeks, he started to swing more toward the moderate side. And I'm like, see, he's not fucking stupid. He's just going to win the presidency because he don't give a shit. But will he build a wall? And will Mexico pay for the wall? That one, I'm I'm curious on. Like, that's one of those like coin flips. I'm waiting to see. Like, this is going to be an interesting time. And are you afraid in case he actually builds the wall? Dios mío, Mr. Presidente, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> I... Hey, you, are you a Mexican? No, senor, no, senor, no Mexican. <laughs> <laughs> we, actually, we actually went to go see, like, Carlos Mencia, a comedian down here in California, um, and he made, like, one of the best points. He goes, he goes, you know, he goes, you can't say that building the wall is about security, right? It's about the financials keeping illegals out. He goes, because if it was about security, he goes, you know that when all the Mexicans line up to run across the border... That if there was one terrorist in that group, one Mexican would run straight to Border Patrol and be like, Senor, that guy over there, he no speaks Spanish. Like, they don't want the <laughs> fucking border wall, so they're not going to let terrorists through. Like, his name is Ha. <laughs> That's not a real name. Like, he made a very good point. He's like, and the other points he made, too, that I laughed about were the, um, like, if, uh, it's like, if you go to McDonald's and the person working there can't pronounce any words, etc., or is, like, only speaks Spanish, he goes... Think about the fact that if there was 15 people applying for that job, that was their best choice. So if you think about it that way, he goes, why are you losing? You're not losing jobs to the Mexicans. It's just the fact that you're applying and you're stupider than they are. I was like, that's, that's a pretty valid mm, point. <laughs> um, I'm not sure if that's a valid point, actually. I mean, um, you're not necessarily stupider, but the Mexican is cheaper. Uh, not that. I mean, you're talking minimum wage jobs. Yeah, you have to pay him a certain uh, amount. You, if you want to fill a minimum wage position, you choose somebody who's not stupid enough to fight at that position and that um, just takes the least amount of money to fill that position with. Or probably doesn't want a promotion, yeah. I don't know. I guess it depends. I've never really employed anything other than actual skilled labor, so it's kind of been like... Skilled so voice actors. Skilled voice actors. For <laughs> Hitler quest mods.
I was actually did construction, um, ran construction crews up in Seattle, and that's like, I mean, well, I did employ Mexicans, but they were skilled Mexicans, so fuck it. The <laughs> it's like it wasn't like pick up shit and do shit. It was like no, you need to be able to install cabinets, do complex trim work, like. But I don't know. The uh, they got one hell of a work ethic. I'll give them that. The uh, I don't think I ever employed people that worked harder. The, but then again, it's like they don't, <laughs> they don't want to lose their green card. No, I'm just. <laughs> <laughs> so this uh this 50 minutes of racism brought to you by germany <laughs> yeah. i don't know Sweet. Any, anything closing we've been going on for 50 minutes it's like and i'm actually gonna leave soon because i got retarded shit like i hate weekends <laughs> i'm like clapped. the only person who hates weekends i actually have to go do shit on weekends like the... <laughs> anything you want to oh. yap about closing just have at it absolutely um Vaccines cause autism in children, and abortion should be legal until the child is 18 years old. No, the age of consent no, be should be at conception. The and of... wait, um, the age of consent should be at conception. <laughs> it took me a second. And I regret nothing I have said over the course of the last few minutes. <laughs> Goodbye, you sweet fucks, and send me all your money. And Darren sucks. <laughs> That's true. Words have never been spoken. All right, I'm pretty <laughs> <off. laughs>